intensely personal works by Tchaikovsky and Brahms, and a U.S. premiere by Samuel Coleridge Taylor highlight this CSO program led by Ricardo Muti. Tchaikovsky's Symphony No. 2 is his shortest symphony, but what makes it unique are its themes based on Ukrainian folk songs. Though Tchaikovsky was born in Russia, his paternal family came from Ukraine, and he began the score in 1872 at his sister's country house in Kamianka, located outside Kyiv. Russian composers of the day were gung-ho to create a national music rooted in the Slavic soil, making conditions ideal for the symphony's success. Tchaikovsky inserted three folk tunes into the work, starting with Down by Mother Volga, a tribute to the longest river in Europe, and introduced as a brooding horn solo. The second movement quotes the folk song Spin, O oh My Spinner, while the brilliant fourth movement is a set of 24 variations on the crane, a song that Tchaikovsky's butler used to sing around the house. The program begins with the U.S. premiere of a long-lost work by British composer Samuel Coleridge Taylor. Solemn Prelude was commissioned by the Three Choirs Festival and premiered in 1899. It was among a string of successes by the composer, who made his name with sprawling cantatas and pieces exploring his African heritage. But the full score to Solemn Prelude was never published, and the orchestral material presumed lost. After an archivist discovered the manuscript in the British Library, it was revived in 2021. A young Johannes Brahms seemed to channel all of his struggles and aspirations into the 50-minute Piano Concerto No. 1. In 1854, Brahms was devastated to learn that his friend and supporter, Robert Schumann, had attempted suicide by jumping from a bridge into the Rhine. Schumann was rescued, but he spent his remaining two and a half years in an asylum. With the tragic episode in the background, Brahms forged ahead with his concerto. The opening has an ominous mood, starting with menacing trills and timpani rolls and set in the dark key of D minor. Brahms described the second movement as a tender portrait of Robert's wife, Clara Schumann, and the music's devotional character may reflect his studies of Renaissance choral music. The rondo finale suggests the influence of Beethoven's third piano concerto, and two grand cadenzas give the pianist ample opportunity for virtuoso fireworks. Yefim Bronfman is our soloist.